I need more ports. We have this dock made by Microsoft, which is powered through this barrel jack, which I have an adapter for through my power supply, but I only have a lot of USB-Cs and uh, I thought I'm gonna just convert this into a usable USB power dock. There's screws right here under the glued on mattress on every corner. There's four of them. And then you need to hustle your way out with the motherboard. I was thinking to use this plasticky thing and to put a USB C trigger board. I'm just going to move the resistor to 15 volts and then I think I'm just gonna hot glue it in. So it stays like this and then I'll be able to power it through the front. Here I'm using my hot air station to move that small resistor. The trigger board has a small PCB so it doesn't require a lot of heat. I'm plugging in the power cable from my power supply into the uh, dock to check how much it's drawing and to find the positive and negative terminals to which I will attach positive and negative cables from the trigger board. The trigger board is used to request the power supply to give it a specific voltage which in this case will be 15 volts because that's how much the dock is rated to uh, support. Since I don't want anything to be short circuiting or to ever again take this thing apart unless it breaks which is fun to repair. Uh, the point is I'm using enameled uh, magnetic wire. It's not magnetic but it's just used around the magnet. You can find these things on transformers or coils so that's where I got these from. The only thing I did is to scratch off the enamel from the wire to to be able to solder the contacts. First check if there are no short circuits. Yep seems to be all fine for now. I'm gonna be using hot glue to put in the trigger board inside of the connector so it wouldn't move and it would be there securely. Um, I'm using my hot air station to melt the hot glue until it starts dripping like water. That's the easiest way to control it and to make sure that it gets very solid after it uh, cools down. <sighs> Not the prettiest thing in the world but functionality comes first. goes in nicely boom oh wait hold up 0 055 was it taking that before bam be working okay let's use something more reliable where's the light by one went up where's the button bam Let's also plug in this phone that we are recording with. Bam. Power draw is weirdly low. What else can I plug in? Plug in like ear pods just to see. This is our last port. You know what? And the phone. We go hard here. Everything. No way it's drawing that low current. Oh, oh, we maxed out the power supply. Let's give it like 2 amps. Run. Wait, 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 wait. Run. So we have the lamp, phone, phone, ah, and the earpods. Thermal camera. I tinkered a little bit more with the different devices and it seems like everything is fine. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.